What's up YouTube? Welcome to another vlog. We are out here two hours away from home on a lack of sleep. We're talking about three and a half hours, but we're on, I wouldn't say on fumes, man. We got the Starbucks coffee, the cream espresso. We're out here with Aaron, Chef Bad Bass, and the man Brandon, that bass fishing dude. I'm going to have all their information linked down in the description below. We've already hammered nine or ten fish, you guys, cranking them. We just got here that after that two hour drive slightly later than we wanted to, so I hopped right in, got to work on the frog, the fluke. I shouldn't even be telling you guys what I'm catching stuff on. A couple more things too, but uh, you're just going to have to wait and see. And as far as size goes, man, y'all just wait till you see these fish. They are, uh, they're something. Let me get y'all over on the GoPro though, and we're gonna rock this little pond lake deal out here in far away Texas for you. On first frog fish. Yes! First one on the frog, baby. Yes! That was super sick too, because as soon as I cast, I like, I literally thought this was a bullfrog. As soon as I casted this, get back in there, baby. Oh, when I made that cast, there was a bullfrog that like jumped in. There was a big old frog that jumped in. I thought maybe that was what kind of grabbed it, but nope, that was the bass. It's early in the morning, guys. It's, uh, it's 7.30. Sun's peeking up. They're hitting the frog. I was surprised. Done. There's another. Back to back. Two in a row. Nope. He said, are they decent size? Nope, not really. <laughs> but they're good looking fish. Definitely healthy. There we go. Number two of the morning, guys. Extra healthy looking fish out here. Oh my gosh. He went after the frog, but there's giants in here. We gotta get them. That's two casts in a row, back to back, same spot. We just need to get in front of the right one though. Oh, I'm happy for a frog bite. I have not had two frog catches in one video probably since like 2018. Long cast right along the bank. Seem to be getting it. I've been working the frog fast lately. There's people that are for it and people that are against it. So blow up right here. Oh my gosh, right next to us. I think this fish will bite. Oh, swirling on it. Swirling on it. Oh, got him. Yep, we got him. We got him. That's three. Just working it slow through there because I knew he was in that area, in that zone, and he took it, boy. There we go. That's three fish. Oh my gosh. What's going on here? They are latching onto this frog this morning. We just had to find him. We're in the right zone. Chef's linked up across the pond. Yeah, guys, I saw him kind of waking up to it, so I, I went slower than normal, just kind of popping it through that little zone, and uh, I let him take a good gander at it. I did see a big one over here earlier. Got oh, damn! We're at 75% hookup ratio on the frog this morning, which is like better than ever for me. We've gotten three out of four. Dang, we just spooked him. Have you got any blow ups? Zero. I need to, uh, I think I need to switch from top water. All right, I've walked the majority of this thing with the frog. I might go grab something else and go a little subsurface. Let me see what we got. All right. Okay, y'all know the deal. Salty super fluke, ice white. We about to catch that new PB. How right, we rig it up guys, just straight up like a Texas rig. We're using a four aught stickies worm hook from Carl's Bait and Tackle. And you can grab a pack of these flukes. I get the ice white color for like less than three bucks at Walmart. I also leave them in the description on a few of those fluke videos I've done. Uh, if I can remember, I'll put it in the description of this video. Look at that right there. This is going to catch us the slaunch. This is going to get us the grass donkey, baby. Let's go. Made it back to the money zone where I caught those first few fish. We're going to try and get after them. Oh, wow. Missed them. Oh, there we go. Something's got it. Got him. That's four. I don't know if that was the same guy that just went for it or not, but we got him. All right. Four fish this morning so far. And what I like to do, the, the hook is sometimes hard to re-rig you guys if you leave the main portion in the body, I like to fix this right here. So I take the whole hook out, then I feed it up through that nose again, then I go back into the body. Otherwise it can be a little tricky to re-rig it. If the hook is still in the body and you try and go up through the nose, you'll stretch it out. You might just damage it even more than it. This fluke is already, I think, messed up. Damaged beyond repair. Let's put him in the pocket and grab a new one. I'm telling you, you'll fly through these. Got one. Number five. 
Yeet. Oh, it's a good day, boys. Five so far. Two on the fluke, three on the frog. Just getting started. Felt a little weight there. Was unsure if it was a fish. Decided to set it. And I saw the line swimming after that. Bam! Five in the books. Oh, yeah. Four left. Four left, and then we'll go crack and crawl. There he is. Oh, shit. Just missed him. Come on, re-rig, let's go. He should have totally had it. Why did he not bite that thing? Super weird. Well, just got us a tree branch. Let's get back in there. We're gonna make a bad decision and not retie after that. Okay, head it to the rod. Got the Guggen Baits. Blue Baby Crack and Craw. Big sexy rod, 7.2 medium heavy. This is the LFG model. Rocking the Metanium DC. And then this, uh, I don't know what hook this is to be entirely sure. It might be that one that came in the MTB box and an eighth ounce weight for a slow fall, which is gonna be awesome with all this stuff here, I believe. I forgot y'all were looking down that entire time. Dang. There's one. That's six. Ah, gotcha. Number six, nothing but little guys so far. I stood back on the bank that time instead of walking right up because I've been spooking one right here in this corner for a while. Woo! Lucky number seven. Oh, jeez! Scared the crap out of me. Crack and crawl just got hit swimming in by the by the shallows. <laughs> got him. There we go. Yeet! Whoa! Texas rig. Crack and crawl. They like the fluke too. All right. That might be nine. We're getting up there. Oh my God. I'm an idiot. I haven't been throwing the swim bait. No wonder I ain't got Big Bertha yet. Circled this thing with the crack and crawl. See what we can't get on some more lures over here. Brandon. Brandon's over there working on his intro. Chef and I are about to change things up. We're going for the big ones. I'm, I'm hopping on the boat with Chef and we're going with nothing but them big old. We're going with the swim bait and the lipless crank. Let's get on this thing. Don't bother with a crankbait. It's a lipless, so I can kind of let it do its thing. Lipless wasn't working out, so I'm going back to the Texas rig because they were smacking it earlier, tying on a Bandito bug. Haven't been using the Bandito bug a whole lot lately, honestly. I've just been trying to throw different stuff. But we whipped out the Okeechobee crawl that Devin was smashing in the bass on the other day. And I'm going to throw this in here. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, no. Didn't let him have it. Ooh, just had a bite. Dude, look. He munched it. I should have just let him munch for like one more bite. I just got uh, trigger happy. Okay. Uh, chef just got smacked on the worm. And you got... <laughs> oh, there goes my big sexy. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that a fish right in front of you? Yep. <laughs> oh, I got him. I got him. I just didn't have his... Oh. Oh, oh, I do have one. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on here? I'm like, I got a freaking tree. I'm like, why does this not feel tight? <laughs> oh my gosh. First bass in a minute. So that was an interesting catch. I was like, I set the hook and it was total slack. And I'm like, okay, I missed the bite. I whipped it out of his mouth. And then I like felt a little bit of movement again. So I set it again. And then I saw I was pulling the tree up out of there. So I'm like, okay, I'm just an idiot. I don't know what I felt, but then I still had the fish on. So anyways, that's how we do it out in somewhere Texas. I think these big ones are just, they might be down deeper, man. We we're thinking about making a move, but uh, if the big ones are here, we figure we might wait it out. Okay, yeah, maybe we should go hit that one then. Making our first big move of the morning, guys. It's currently 10.30. I literally am at 10 or 11 fish now. Only caught one more since I was on that rush of bites this morning when they were hitting just about everything. And uh, if I didn't mention it, we're heading over to the second body of water here on property. This one's supposed to be much bigger. He says that the three to five pounders are just absolutely berserk in here. There's tons of them. Trying to link up with a big one. We're gonna see if we can get some numbers and come back to this little pond and get a big one a little bit later. But what a sweet little drive off road, man. I don't crank the Tundra into four-wheel drive often enough, so this is pretty slick. I'm just behind them on the Polaris, Tom, the owner of the property up here, and uh, showing us the next spot, baby. The fluke over here just saw a little fish right on the bank, man. Got him. Oh, that's a good one, Chef. That's a good one. First cast on the fluke. 
Uh, first cast. Wow. I'd say that's a three and a half. Three seven? Nah, I, I bet you're right. Oh yeah, I saw him eat it. Well, I didn't see him eat it. I saw the fluke disappear. I thought it was a little guy though. Wow, that's how you do it. Dun, dun, dun. Tom says three seven. Bet he's right on the money. I said three and a half. It's gotta be right there. Oh no, four pound, three ounce. You know, he's chunky. There you go. Yeah, hey chef, would you mind? We just made it to the second spot. Chunked the fluke in right off the bat. Four pounder right here along the bank. I saw a little guy scurrying along the bank just by, like maybe a couple feet off and then bam. Four and a quarter. Absolutely beautiful fish. Check him out. Let's get him back in the water though and try and snag a couple more. You go ahead. Slow and steady. Looking and cruising through the grass. No worries. And that was with three quarters of a fluke. So I'm just right here on the edge. I'm going to fluke right over to him. One took off, but I can, I can snag this second one. Yeah, I'm going to get him. If, if one doesn't get it before me or before I get to him. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's one chasing it. They got it. <laughs> I couldn't even make it to the bank to get the one I was eyeballing. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, two cast, two fish. I didn't mean to flail him in there, but he's off. Strike zone, strike zone, strike zone. <laughs> little guy, little guy. He got off. Okay, he did me a favor. I never bring enough flukes, man. I'm going to burn through these in five minutes. You got him? Got smoked. There you go. There you go. No. Dude, look at this oh, monster. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a big sucker. Don't let him go. Chef just linked up with a Mondo. You guys could be his PB. Let's see what happens. Four seven, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's bigger than that one on the golf course. Yep, four and a quarter. So four. that's your that's your best one, huh? New PB. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Wow. Yeah, that was awesome. And look at this. Too funny, man. The four and a half pounders, these big old bass, they're just cruising off nice and slow. They don't even care. Time to grab a couple more. Nice one, Chef. I haven't even made it to the end of the dock yet. We've already caught two four pounders. Oh, he don't. That's a little guy. It's about time we start bringing the tools over here. <laughs> Shit, doubling up. He's got a big one. He's got a two and a half, three pounder. There we go. I think I got it. Freaking heck. Guys, look what we got tied on. I think we're about to get hammered, smacked on this. Ooh. Huh? Frog egg. No way. Jackal Ganterell, you guys. Oh, a nice one, dude. Another solid three plus. Oh, got one. Oh, God, I've smashed it. <laughs> trying to tell Chef where the scale's at. And the Gantrell is bringing in a good one. Oh, thrashing. He don't want to be brought to the bank. He said no. Dudes, Gantrell is kicking it. There we go, y'all. Oh my gosh. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that's another four. Look at this guy. They're just so fat, so healthy. Shoo. Oh, yep. Let him fight a little bit. Big one, dude. Yeah, he hit on that swim bait. He ain't messing around. Just trying to wear him out a little bit. Look at him go. I think I will. Yeah, let me come and get that. Hey, chef, will you bring the camera? Second one at the second pond on the Gantrill Junior swim bait right here. This sucker will bring in the hogs. I'd say this is closing in on four pounds if it's not. Luckily, we've got the scale right here, so we ain't going to have to guess. Let's see what we're talking here. Just shy of four, three pounds, 13 ounces. So a little over three and three quarters. Got to grab you a swim bait, you guys. Slow rolling it right here along the uh, the edge here. Just nice and shallow. Boom, got smacked. Oh, got a little guy. Swim bait's about as big as him. Let's get him back. Oh, something just looked at it. Oh, it was a bluegill swim, I think. Oh, oh, he looked at it. I was gonna say he found it. <laughs> uh, pliers. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, got him. Okay, get on back. Okay, gang, we're changing up the approach. We've been throwing a lot of familiar stuff. You guys have seen me make a lot of catches on everything I've thrown already, so I'm gonna vary things up. I grabbed a couple MTB boxes out of the truck, and I'm just gonna throw some of these baits. I've had lures, I've had stockpiled in here. A bunch of crank baits. Just random stuff, lipless. We got the baby bull shad. I've caught something on that. Jerk baits I've never opened. We got ants, whatever you want. Uh, some super flukes. Those didn't come in the box though. I just stockpiled those. You know that. Uh, and then we've got a bunch more cranks and jerk baits. We're just going to have fun and see if we can't just tie on back to back to back a bunch of these things and see if they'll hit them. Okay, who's up first? Let's try and throw one of these jerk baits. This guy, he's got a little rattle. It's a Smithwick suspending jerk bait six to eight foot depth so pretty good if we maybe fish it off the stock right here solid looking treble hooks let's break this thing out bada bing bada boom looks similar to the fluke which we are catching on a little bit ago let's see what happens i'm just gonna take i'm just gonna take a look at him real fast 
Oh, he dives deep. Dives deep quick. All right, let's go. Guys, how I'm working this is I'm popping it three times and then I'm just kind of letting it sit. You don't want to crank in all the slack and pop it or you, you won't get the right pop. You want to leave some slack and you want to pop it with that slack is always what I've heard with the jerk bait. So feel free to throw in your two cents in the comments because I really never throw them, but I've just heard you want to keep that slack in your line right before you go to pop it. Got him. There we go. First one on the jerk bait. Yep. There we go. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, it's a good one, boys. Good one on the jerk bait. Let's go. Come on over to the shallows. Oh, gosh darn. Only took five minutes, boys. Wow, that's a fatty. Let's see what this thing weighs. Three and three quarters. All right, have fun. Heck yes, that did not take very long at all. And next up, we're gonna throw the Lunker Hunt Jolt 2.5 F, which you would think means 2.5 feet, and that would be correct. Okay, next contender. Yeah, they're not liking this blue one as much. Guys, we just cranked on the feeder. Check this out. It's gonna unleash a whole lot of these pellets, this fast food, and they about to start going crazy. Whoa, yeah! Say what? <laughs> I'm gonna end up snagging one. I gotta throw the fluke. Those are all bass? No way. Oh, big and big and on the frog. Woo Dude, he's big. <laughs> wow, this might be a five right here, boys. Dun, dun, dun. Do, 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 do. Well, that's a heavy sucker. Oh gosh. Oh my, he's thrashing. I'm thinking that's just a fat four, but I was talking a big game as she was swimming in. That is a healthy fish. Oh yeah. Four and three quarters. Woo, 412. Big sucker. Let's see if we can't get one more real quick. This probably isn't the best one to throw now. Let me get that fluke. Where did I put that? There we go. So whenever y'all right where right four wheel is, you come up to the house or whatever. Okay, just take them anywhere or you got a little. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get you set up. Like... This is nuts, dude. Uh, we, uh, we got, back got him! Yeah! <laughs> That's so funny, man. Watching him eat the fluke out here in the creek. These little guys are back here munching. Oh, hammered. Hammer time. Do what you do. Flipping the flop. Let me get a sip, too. I need a little pick-me-up. Bam! Jerky. Can't live without them coffees. Oh, two bites. Cruise around on them four wheelers. Get some wind. Well, guys, when we were leaving this pond right here, whoop, we had a little hiccup with this guy, so now we're getting it towed back to the house. Quick detour, y'all. We actually left the second pond and we're about to cruise around on the four wheelers. We got the youngster about to take us out on the little guy. I'm gonna follow him on the bigger on the bigger uh, Polaris, and we're gonna have some fun doing some off-road. Be right back. Try and hit a speed run down by the water. I let them go up a little ways. <laughs> Turn around. Did you hit that jump? Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Nuts. Well guys, what a better way to end it than with a sick four-wheeler ride. 
Oh my gosh, did y'all catch any of that? <laughs> that was absolutely nuts, man. We definitely want to come back out here and thank Tom so much for inviting us out to the property. We had an absolute blast catching some major big donkeys. I don't know if y'all caught that, but there was like three and four pounders left and right. The first pond was producing some numbers. We got some little ones. We kind of just got, got our bearings over there at the first one. We made, a, we made a jump to that second pond, though, and that's where we absolutely crushed it. I mean, they were hitting all around the place. We were throwing all kinds of different baits. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We definitely had fun filming it. This is the outcome after all that, uh, the off-roading. <laughs> We're ready to come back here and have another whack at it. Let's see you guys on that video. Peace. Bonus footage. We had to make our way back to the rigged rod, which I left at the first pond earlier. Oh. We're hanging out by these docks we have just identified. Let's get them. Got them. <laughs> I guess it's a pack of 10. I think we've gone through three. Weightless Texas rig Sanko. Four aught worm hook. 7-2 medium heavy rigged rod, one of our favorites. Everything today has been caught on favorite rods, which you guys can get 20% off of in the description below. And uh, you can also save 30% on all your baits with a Carl's Club membership. And that's what Devin and I do. We've got a membership and we stock up monthly on our baits. Let's snag a few more before we got split. Bonus footage concluded. Let's go get something to eat. <gasps>